Well, he better come it. But Jaden Chase, they have met the fans, them know how really are going. Yeah, man, now, move settings nation. And we no need no ladder. Yeah, man, Jaden Chase, and that one that we're going to bring on another exciting reason for the topic of current affairs. So if you're new to the channel, just a pass through. But you like the reason, and of course, you like the point of view. Well, I'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon and then kick in the like button. Now, let's get right into the reasoning. Now, Nation, the system is trying to demonize Nzinga King's character in the media, claiming that she told fellow students at the Meadowlands Center of Excellence in Clarendon that she was the one who cut her own locks. The police have, however, just dig themselves into a deeper hole. Then they are telling me that a citizen that they arrested for disorderly conduct in the presence of a police officer was given a weapon while in lockup. What if she had chosen to attack officers since they are claiming that they gave her a scissors? Lie them tell and all who involved in this situation should face the full weight of the law. I am going to hear from the so-called student in question and then we we'll continue the reasoning. Look and listen nation. She can't on this day in her school and she missed her hair and she's sorry she cut it. So it's surprising to us when she said it is when she come from the media and I go say and the police cut her hair. I don't understand that. She must come straight and talk the truth and the truth will set her free. Because you go say you cut your hair then all of a sudden come from media say police cut your hair. Accused police say them cut your hair. Why, when the police was cutting your hair, you never ball out to help or scream out. She even said, Police mash up her phone. She tell us at school, say somebody take her phone and fling it after them daughter. Now she has the police mash up her phone. She now comes straight. She need to come straight and tell the truth. She tells some simple life for no reason. She said that she's 21 at school. When no one in the she's just 19. So what else she can do? What else does she do? Come on, she need to do better than that man. Because I don't believe why. Me say, no girl, this girl lie. Because she tell her at school that she cut her ear and this is surprising. She said that the police want to cut her ear. Yeah. Now what we also must point out nation is that the student who made this statement was quoted as saying based on Nzinga King's utterance to her friends she doesn't believe what Nzinga alleged in the video and in subsequent media interviews that her locks was cut by the policewoman. Now utterance to her friends basically this individual is saying that this is a conversation where she overhear something that cannot be used in court this is even worse than hearsay because Nzinga was not speaking to that student based on her own claims this is just an attempt by the state to demonize a young woman who has been violated by the very system put in place to protect her rights. Police that ever serve and protect and enforce the laws of this country. One of the laws of this country is your constitutional right, the rights given to every citizen of this country. Rights to religion and you can't violate these sacred things. Now they are also saying that the nursing student is appealing to Mzinga to explain why she is giving two different versions of what took place. Which two versions? And if the story was fabricated, why is it that just that aspect of the story is fabricated? Meanwhile, the PMP caretaker for Southeastern Clarendon has announced that Isaac Buchanan has been retained for this case. Yes, he will be representing the King family, a Rastafarian himself and somebody who knows about constitutional rights and the violations thereof. Mr. Buchanan was also quoted as saying in sections of the press that he is aware that at least one person has questioned the authenticity of the claims made by his client. The MP also confirmed that yes, the King family, that what they have said that the policewoman did indeed wrongfully cut Nzinga's hair after being told 
it was not fashion locks whether with false ear or just doing it for fashion this was a religious statement and she still cut her ear now she also expressed the fact that the family is prepared mentally for the backlash and anything with the system i go try this is one of those very same attempts by the state who published a story that friends of Nzinga heard her saying this then only for years the person we are tell the tabloids said them here was not even a part of the conversation with them I tell people about oh she people say she hear say or she overhear a conversation what that after seeing the nationwide outrage even from citizens residing off the island after seeing the level of outrage by citizens the state is now making attempt are making an attempt to discredit and demonize the king family through the media they know what is about to happen and there's something where you can dance around and the actions that took place in that particular police station definitely set civil rights back only per years we were all people that talk about coral gardens and that whole incident that took place. This situation threatens to set back years of civil rights accomplishments. Even if those accomplishments was just by behavior. I have heard stories where officers would treat Rastafarians and the man in the 70s and in those eras differently from a bald headed citizen just for being there. Not for doing anything, but just for being there. As if Rasta wasn't accepted in the society. Fast forward a couple more years after reggae artists export Jamaican culture and bring in millions of investment and revenue to the country. You know what I mean? We see Bob Face Pan t shirt and then I say, boy, come to Jamaica, come visit the White Sang and hang out with the Rastafarians. And them keep them growler and certain type of events. A reggae artist, them want book feed. Few dancehall artists as well, but you know. But at the same time, there is no respect for the Rastafarian culture or even for reggae music. Culture minister, culture. If culture is the topic, Rasta, that dreadlocks movement there. You know, it's the aspect of our culture that we have exported to the wider world. You didn't know say a reggae music, the majority of the world. Rust them head. Differently from the few who have done it for fashion reasons. And in North America, some mothers have said that. Because the Kane Row, Kane Row things that thing we have to continuously do, they have chosen to lock the hair of their children. Not, regard, not in regards to a spiritual movement, but just for convenience. But apart from those individuals, a reggae and rasta. Make people not help them in. When we talk about stories about our culture and about things about Jamaican, things about African, our ancestry. Isn't it the Rastafarian community who continues to document and talk about these things? So why is it when a situation like this found out, they then remedy the matter immediately? Seeing that this was not only an attack on Nzinga's religion, but also on Jamaica's culture and the civil rights of its citizens. This is a major issue, you know? And in a small situation. This is a major issue. Something that should be of concern to every individual. Yeah, the girl from UBS, she wonder if people are going to cut her locks if she find herself at the station. If it's, for some reason she have a traffic incident and she go to the station, she wonder if she go there and talk for her right. If she go find it, say, she's now being charged for disorderly conduct and she's going to be trimmed. That's not enough no fear when a Rastafarian girl should have walk around with. A fear of the security forces in 2021. And not just a fear of being placed behind bars. That is one thing within itself. But the fear of your religion and its sacred aspects being desecrated for no justifiable reason. What you have to do with being incarcerated? Police are going to work with all files here. We have to allow people and stop bad mind civilians and do the job presented to you. Consequences of actions are something taught. There must be consequences for the actions of this officer. 
and the reflection of the entire constabulary force. This is not something we can just walk past, something we can just overlook. And this attempt by the state to put out something like this in the media must be looked at for what it is, an attempt to demonize the King family, for discredit them. Uh, look how them are trying to discredit them by saying that a girl who goes to the same school as Nzinga, not a part of our social group, but a girl overhear a situation and she interprets it that she hear and then run go publish it in the media. Hey, I open a seat for what it is. This is not by coincidence. The girl says she was not being told anything. She hears it and now she wants. To know why there's two stories being given. What do you mean by I want to know why two stories? But there are only one story. She was wrongfully detained and while in the custody of constabulary force members was forced against her will and them trimmer. She not forced to trim herself. Them trimmer. And the JCF must be worried about this statement being made that they handed a weapon to an inmate. If you like a those contraband charge, officers have lost their job for just bringing in contraband. In. And contraband can mean anything from even a toothpaste to narcotics. This officer handed an inmate a weapon. If I that, they might go say they're not bigger charge, see me. Of course, that is not what they're saying. Them just a try to put out a story out there for try to change the mindset of the nation. Seeing that we are vital in our outreach, so what one we will not stand feet and she need justice. Talk to me in the comment section about where you Vice to the one called Jaden Chase, the dance hall correspondent, and the guys are present. If I'm reminding them now, if you're new to the channel, new to the movement, just a pass through, but you like the reason, and of course, you like the point of view. Well, I'm suggesting doing that too. Click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon and put it on all. And this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here upon the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity. Drop a like and bust a share. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother them to check out your channel, check out the reason, join the discussion. The comment section is open 24 7, never lack yet. Yet, just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines other than that drop your thoughts and comments and yes your opinions there you know this something go live love and prosper until the reason again